My needs for a sleep mask are pretty simple. All I ask is that it be comfortable for side sleeping and it's actually effective at blocking out light. You would think I'm not asking for a whole lot with that, but that's actually surprisingly really difficult to find. Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing the Emzu Sleep Mask. It's the highest rated mask on Amazon, but it isn't actually the best mask. Today, we're gonna to find out. So first, let's talk about is this actually a comfortable mask? So the way that the padding is designed, it's some kind of foam gel type of situation and it has eye cutouts. I did not realize how much I like a mask that has eye cutouts until I started reviewing sleep masks. It's so nice not to have anything rubbing up the, like against your eyes and eyelashes. And not only that, the eye cutouts extend to the side of your head. It is so nice as a slide sleeper to not have it end at the edge of your eyes because it's between the side of your head and your pillow. It's something that is just really critical to being good for side sleepers specifically. Now that being said, this mask stinks as in it smells awful. I'm sure it has something to do with the foam off gassing or something like that, but it is unusably bad for at least a few days. Don't think that you're going to be able to like Amazon Prime it and then take it straight on vacation because it is unusably bad. You have to let it sit out for at least a few days in order to be able to comfortably use it because it smells that bad. Another drawback is the foam kind of gets harder the longer you use it. I initially wore it, it was pretty comfortable, but then throughout the course of the night when I switched positions, I did wake up a couple times just because the padding was uncomfortable. Um, but the number one detriment to this being a comfortable mask is the fact that it's not designed for human noses. I'm not sure what's going on with this and why it's designed the way that it's designed, you would have to be like Voldemort or have no nose at all. Um, the way the nose is designed is that it gets deeper towards the top of your head. And then when you go to the tip of your nose, the cutout is eliminated. And I really don't know why. Um, as far as comfort goes, I mean, you could do worse but you could also do better. Now that we've talked about the comfort, let's move on to does this mask block out light? The first thing that I fully was surprised by is that this mask doesn't ride up. Given what the price point was, I fully expected that this mask would probably shift and ride up during the night, and this doesn't do that. The other thing that it really has going for it is that the eye area is fully opaque. I've tried masks in the past where light shines through the fabric Obviously, that's really detrimental to being an effective light blocker, and this doesn't do that. Now, that being said, this mask is impossible to get it to 100% blackout. No matter how you adjust this mask, no matter how you wear it, you are not going to get this mask to be able to block out 100% of the light. I initially adjusted the mask and put it on to what I found to be comfortable. I had light seeping in towards the top of my face and towards the bottom of my nose. So my thought process was, well, I just need to make it tighter then. And it did eliminate the light seepage up at the top of my face. But for the bottom of my nose, no matter how tightly I put the mask on, no matter how I adjusted it, it was not possible to get this to be 100% blackout. In fact, the light seepage was so bad, this might be one of the worst masks that I've tried as far as letting in light near your nose. Yeah, so for blackout, definitely a fail for me. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, give it a thumbs up so I know you're liking it. So is this the best mask on Amazon? I mean, I really do like the eye cutouts. They have a lot of promise, especially for side sleepers, but this is a pretty cheap mask overall. I know the price point for it is pretty low. I want to say I paid like 11-ish dollars for it, but don't feel like you're getting a good deal. You can get a better quality mask at a lower price point. Overall, this just feels like it's somebody's first draft. Like they conceptualized the product, they had a prototype made, and the prototype comes back and there's a lot of flaws with it. And rather than fixing it, they were basically just like, F it, let's roll with it. Needless to say, this is a fail for me. I'm not gonna be reaching for this mask again. And a lot of times, even though it's not a good fit for me, I can usually think, okay, this might be the better type of sleeper that this mask is suited for. I can't think of anybody who would be a good fit for this mask unless you maybe had like no nose at all. So the fact that it has 
so many reviews on Amazon is a mystery to me because I wouldn't recommend this mask. You're probably looking for a better recommendation. Check out my mask playlist. I reviewed other masks. Sweet dreams.